we need to think of a new advert for freebets.com. Get your best betting offers from freebets.com. Yeah, that'll do. The following deals are now live. This is Lewis Art for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store, Forest Irish Stout, FreeBets.com. Delighted to be joined with Dalton Smith. And um, we're here in Sheffield for, for a big night, GBM. Um, I suppose when it comes to Izzy, the levels and levels are stepping up every time. You've obviously got Thomas Asomba fighting. Um, looking forward to tonight's action? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, another great GBM show. Two Steel City lads on the card. Um, Liam Cameron, Thomas Asomba in his European title defence. And... You know, I think it's going to be a great fight. So, you know, the setup. You, you see, you see the production. What goes into these small? I don't think you can call it a small hole yeah. show. Um, you know, the, the setup. What Izzy brings to this and GBM. So, yeah, it's, I always enjoy coming to these shows. Does it show how much the levels are stepping up in the UK? Because Izzy's doing a great job. But it's not just Izzy. There's loads of sort of you could call them small hall promoters. But let's say you know promoters who don't have big TV deals. Um, the levels are stepping up and the production is stepping up. That's exciting that you know, boxers who necessarily wouldn't get that experience are getting that experience. Yeah, I think they're having to step up as well because you know the, the opportunities what are coming to these these shows. Um, you know, like the talk sport YouTube channel that you know that's going to bring a lot of eyeballs to the you know to, to the viewing numbers as well. So you know, that, I think that's why they they've got to put a lot into the production to you know obviously with with the whole setup. So. You know, the small old shows now are getting bigger and bigger and, you know, you can see the copying the, the bigger promoters and, and you know, it's, it's good for the small old fighters who are coming through because they're getting that feel-good factor on the big shows. Absolutely, and I suppose we'll talk about yourself on March 23rd. We are in Sheffield. Um, Jose Zapeda is the man that faces you. Um, a significant step up from um, from competition that you have previously faced. Um, how excited are you now to prove that a guy who's world, who has been proving himself at a world level, um, excited for that fight? Very excited, um, you know, when the fight got made, you know, from once we finally got it agreed, signed, you know, I was, I was buzzing with it. Um, like I say, it's, it's a big test, big challenge, and one I'm confident I'm going to come through with, uh, you know, a great performance. And what is the excitement when it comes to fighting a guy who is proven at the world level and where is a significant step up in competition? Is there any excitement factor that you know you're going to be at the best, have to be at the best of your game to beat Jose Zapata? Yeah, I'm going to be at the best of my game. Um, you know, he's been there at world level, he, he, he's experienced that, you know, me and my stage of my career now, and he's put these big performances, put performances in, you know, beat Jose Cepeda, and then I'm up there with the big boys, um, you know, make a statement, you know, let show people who Dalton Smith is. Do you feel like with yourself that you have shown so much already, but you're going to show even more when the levels do step up, and even this year, God knows where you could be at the end of 2023? That's it, and you know, when the opposition steps up, that's when it brings more out of you. Um, you know, you push more in training. Um, you know, this is how it, the fighters develop. You know, you step up the levels, um, you step up with it, and that's how you get to the top. Um, it's about making a statement, and you know, you know how stacked the 140 pound division is and it's, it's about putting my name up there with those well i suppose there is news that i can't ignore and i know the full focus is on march 23rd but we can't ignore that the ebu ordered yourself to fight adam azim um that fight is always talked about it's always sort of um people always mention it when you mention adam azim Dalton smith's name get mentioned when you mention Dalton smith adam azim's name get mentioned realistically do you think this fight happens when it is ordered like I oh, know you're not looking past the pay, but do you realistically think this fight could happen at this stage in your career? Look, time will tell. Obviously, I've got one job on my hands. That's March 23rd, and you know I'm not, not over, overlooking that one little bit. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of hype, a lot of retention over the, with the purse bids with me and Ad, Adam Azim. They've been put back now. Um, but look, if the fight gets made, I know full well 100%. I'll be in there in the purse bids, and I won't be pulling out. So, you know, it takes two to tango, and I'm there to tango. <laughs> And I know you, you're, not, you're not a businessman, you're a boxer at the end of the day, but do you understand from some claims where they may say, look, you know, let this down the line a year or two down the line and so let this, let this sort of play out and get bigger money for it? Or I suppose you may want the fight as soon as. Look, I'll have the, I'd, I'd have the fight whenever, but that's up to my team, um, my promotional team, management team, my dad. You know, they, do, they sort all the business out in boxing. 
to just leave me to train and do what I'm good at. It's the reason I bring that up is because Shane McGregor done it. Shane McGregor done an interview yesterday with Seconds Out. Talks about the fight and he sort of spoke about the lines of saying, you know, let's do this a year or two later down the line when it makes both sense. Um, he's also compared both your resumes with, with uh, Adam Zemi. He said, you know, your best win is Casey Benjamin, and he said Adam's best win is Aaron Fanny, and then he thinks Fanny and would beat Casey Benjamin. Um, did you, I, 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 did you see much of them comments from Shane? What do you sort of make of those stuff? To be honest, I never watched the interviews. Um, I just get on my own stuff. But, but look, you know, you look at the opposition, I've definitely boxed better opposition than Adam. But, you know, it's it's all, oh, he's done this, he's done that. Um, you know, I stay away, I stay out of that. Um, look, if the fight gets made, the fight gets made and, you know, time will tell. And when you look at 2024 now, um, a win over Zepeda, um, a real, real chance for big honours uh, for yourself, maybe pushing world honours, do you think, in 2024? Yeah, big performance here and, you know, I'm pushing towards, you know, the world title eliminators, um, you know, onto, onto that level. So, you know, big win here, there's, there's no going back, you know, I'm in with the big boys and... Absolutely, Dalton, thank you for taking time to speak to me, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, all the thank best you. for 23rd of December, mate. Top thank man, you. thank you, cheers.